Everybody, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. It's now obviously the morning. Let's see if we can actually get out of this door. Can we get out of this door? Hold on, didn't we have a walker? Didn't we not kill a walker here? Where the hell's the walker gone? Hmm. Anyway, let's go take a look at uh, what happened. So we had one zombie there. I think we had probably about ten altogether. But the problem with this game is they do kind of bodies disappear, then reappear again. So that was one. But our defence is held up, obviously pretty goddamn well. But then only thing that shit went was my front door. It's a bit tight that one, isn't it? Um, that one's been here. Can we break that up? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why can I not hit this one? There we go. Yeah, I think uh, our defence has done pretty well. But as I said, every seven days does get harder and harder. So, oh, right now, why is their head still moving? Let's get rid of all this shit. Gives you bones. One there, one there. Um, oh shit, fuck, we've got fucking one there, haven't we? God, look, nearly dead. Let's break these. Yeah, but I'm not quite sure where to go with the game now. I mean, we've done the seventh night, the hood was a bit disappointing. And I have played a a multiplayer game, and uh, again I went on the roof on the seventh day, and you could see the horde coming for you from all around, which was pretty cool. So I don't know why, whether uh, the game was just too dark or what was going on. And there's quite a few down here. I'll take all your shit. But my thoughts on the game. I've played the game quite a bit, I and mean, there are certain aspects I've not done. I've not mined yet, for instance. I've never built a gun or a rifle or anything like that. But there's loads of zombies around here, fuck my tits. But I personally, I really enjoy the game. The graphics aren't the best in the world, granted, but I've never really been a graphics or as such, as long as the gameplay is good. Which it is. I'm happy. Um, uh, the multiplayer is a little bit disappointing, I think, personally, because, <clears throat> um, uh, for instance, when you join a game, if the host, oh, I've got a treasure map. I've seen that before. If the host ends the game, then that's it. It's game over. You can't go back. Whatever you've done is gone and disappeared gone forever, so that's something I think they need to sort out. So I think when you host a game, you are the host. So when you end the game, it is game over. Which is disappointing, but apart from that, you know, it's fun. I've never actually found anyone on multiplayer games. I've both hosted a game and joined games. Uh, the game I host, I've never Never had anyone join, which is very disappointing, but I suppose that's the way it goes, really. And um, what else? The maps are pretty goddamn big, to be perfectly honest with you. The maps are massive. So well done on the map sizes. And if you look at the map, I can't find the map, there it is. That's all we've explored. And that isn't the whole map, you can carry on. Oh, that is the top of the map up there. But if we go down, you see how many of these map screens it is. Two. Oop. Hey, so it's a big old map. It'll take you quite a bit of time to explore it all, I think. Once again, I've never done that. Um, I kind of like the animations of the uh, zombies as they're running after you walking and that. 
I mean, there's a few little glitches. I know there's a lot of glitches when the first game first came out, but now, as you've seen in there, let's play, majority of them have been cleaned up. Uh, the game does stutter slightly. I mean, every I don't know, minute or so, it auto saves, and every now and again, the game will like pause, uh, literally a second or two, which you probably noticed. Um, the other thing that kind of gets one out sometimes when you're in the menu, you're moving the cursor around. Sometimes it suddenly just freeze, and then all of a sudden it reappears somewhere else on the screen, and that kind of gets my tits a little bit. But you know, it's minor. Um, is it worth thirty pound? Personally, for me, yes, it is. I mean, if you're lucky enough to have a PC and play like these kind of zombie survival crafting games then maybe not, but if you're a console player then this is probably the first chance you've had to play a game like this. What happened to the uh, bag of loot? And all the other bodies that are around here that I could search they've all turned to mush. Yeah, they've all turned to mush. <coughs> um. And that was the crawler that was in, he's disappeared as well. Um, you know what I'm going to do, guys, is heal up. Let's get rid of that. Put that down there. Boom, boom, boom. boom. That gives us a good, what, 50% heal. Um, boom, boom, boom. We don't want to waste that now. We can learn how to do the crossbow. Fantastic. What else can I say about the game? Um, yeah, I, I really do enjoy the game. I, mean, I can see how it could possibly get boring. Um, I say the multiplayer, I generally just play multiplayer now in the hope that someone would join my game, I can find them and kill them. Or the other way around. Obviously, I mean, in multiplayer you can team up. You can send ally requests if you so wish. But as I say, in my multiplayer games, I've never had anyone join me yet, which is disappointing. But I think the game's enjoyable. You know, you can craft pretty much anything you want. I mean, there's a huge range of stuff. I mean, just for the buildings. I mean, there's pages after pages of all different blocks and shapes and God knows what else that you can build. I mean, eight pages, nine pages. And you have got like miscellaneous, we can build lamps and friggin' God knows what else. Letter signs and uh, everything. You do also have a creative mode, like Minecraft. So you can just build whatever you want, you know, you've got everything in your inventory. Which could be fun really if you're just into the building part of the as building aspect of the game. Um, what else? Can I talk about? Uh, yeah, yeah, I like the fact that there's different weather would affect you in different ways. You can overheat, you can freeze, you can drown, you can get eaten by dogs, wolves, bears, you can kill yourself in your own friggin' spikes for instance loads of variations to the game but uh, yeah I'd say it's well worth getting it if you've liked watching whether it's my let's play or other people's then definitely get it as far as our let's play I'm not sure where to go from now I mean do you want to see any more carry on or you kind of feel like you see enough we've got to the day seven or night seven we've defended ourselves against the horde quite easily to be perfectly frank you know what else is there to show in the video you know if they put servers on that uh, <clears throat> they hosted so you could just build your stuff leave then come back and everything would be there you know, with 
oh no, 20, 30 other players on them, then the game would be a million times better. But at the moment, unfortunately, that's not the case. But we can have our fingers crossed, I guess. And um, we have got, I think, Daisy and Ark Survival coming out on the PS4 either this year or next year. I think one might be coming out this year, one might be coming out next year, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. So I'll be looking forward to them. Um, again, if they don't have dedicated servers like this game doesn't, then I probably won't get them, to be honest. I want that uh, full-on multiplayer experience. But until then, I guess uh, this could very well be the last of our Seven Days to Die. Just let me know in the comment section if uh, you want to see any more. I could try and show you a bit of multiplayer. If you have the game and fancy joining me in a multiplayer, which I can record, then let me know in the comment section. But for now, guys, thank you all very much for watching. This is Red Fox, signing out.